Good day everyone! Ang inyong guru ay nagbabalik para sa isa na namang panibagong lesson. Pero before tayo magpatuloy, please mag-subscribe at i-click ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga bago kong videos. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang quarter 3 week 6 lesson ng Mathematics 7. Ito ang interior and exterior angles of a convex polygon. Let's have a recall. What do we call a polygon that is both equilateral and equiangular? Ito yung discuss ko last, uh, sa last video ko. Ang sagot ay regular polygon. Another question, what do you call a polygon that is not a regular polygon? It can be convex or concave. Do you know the answer? Of course, kapag hindi na siya regular polygon, ang tawag natin dito ay irregular polygon. Another one, this is a segment joining two non-consecutive vertices of a polygon. Ano ang tawag natin dito? We call this as the diagonal. Then of course, Yung interior and exterior angle natin. Kailangan hindi natin ito makalimutan. Okay? Interior angle nasa loob ng pentagon or nasa loob ng polygon. And then exterior angle nasa labas ng polygon. Now, let's proceed to our first lesson or first topic which is the sum of the interior angles of a convex polygon. Meron tayong dalawang solution dito. For solution 1, we can use this formula. S for, stands for the sum and then N stands for the um, number of sides. So formula 1 or solution 1, S is equal to N minus 2 times 180. And then for solution 2, S is still stands for the sum, and then number of triangles times 180. For example, we have this figure. Okay? Find the sum of the interior angles of the given figure. Gamitin muna natin yung solution 1. First step, we need to identify the number of sides. So, ilan ang sides ng polygon na ito? We have 5. Next step, substitute natin and then solve. So, here is the formula. S is equal to N minus 2 times 180. Substitute mo yung given value ni N, which is 5. So, S is equal to 5 minus 2 times 180 and then simplify. S now is equal to 3 times 180, it is equal to 540 degrees. Therefore, ang sum ng interior angles ng figure na ito ay equal to 540 degrees. Nakuha? Next. Find the sum of the interior angles of the given figure using for solution number 2. Uh, kanina, solution number 1 ang ginamit natin. Ngayon naman, solution number 2. Tignan natin kung parehas yung answer na lalabas. Okay? Dito naman, gagamitin natin yung number of triangles formed. Yan. Step 1 for solution number 2, identify the number of dissected triangles formed from a fixed vertex. So, ang fixed vertex natin dito is this one. Okay, kailangan na uh, fixed vertex lang. Okay, so ilan yung mabubuong triangle kapag nag uh, ilan yung mabubuo nating triangle using a fixed vertex only. Okay, so ilan ba? Meron tayong 1. 2, and 3. Then, substitute. Number of triangles is equal to 3. Multiply it 180. Then, the answer is 540 degrees. Parehas ba sa sagot natin kanina? 
Okay, parehas na 540 degrees. So, pwede kang gumamit ng kahit uh, alin sa dalawa. Pwedeng solution 1 and or solution 2. Question. Does this work for irregular polygon also? What do you think? The answer is yes. For instance, we have this uh, irregular octagon. Ayan. Total, ang total interior angles niya is 1,080 degrees. Ginamit natin dito yung formula or solution number 2. Kung ilan yung triangles, minultiply natin sa 180. So, we have 6 times 180, we got 1,080 degrees. So, um, possible siya or applicable siya sa regular and irregular polygons. Next, uh, la next topic, measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon. Regular polygon muna tayo. Next natin yung irregular polygon. Ito yung gagamitin nating formula in getting the measure of each interior angle of a regular polygon. N minus 2 times 180 divided by N. Example, find the measure of each interior angle of a regular pentagon. Ito yung pentagon natin. Ngayon, gagamitin natin yung formula. Step 1 muna pala. Um, identify the number of sides. So, sa pentagon, merong lima. Limang sides. And then, substitute natin yung formula. Si N, palitan ng 5. So, 5 minus 2 times 180 divided by 5. Mag-simplify. 5 minus 2 is 3 times 180 is equal to 540. And then, divided by 5. 540 divided by 5 is equal to 108 degrees. Therefore, ang measure ng isang interior angle ng regular pentagon ay equal to 108 degrees. Kuha? Another example. Find the value of B. How do we get the value of B? Sundin natin yung formula kanina. But first, we need to identify the number of sides. We have 8. Next step, substitute then solve. And palitan mo ng 8. 8 minus 2 times 180 divided by 8. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 times 180. It is 1080. And then divided by 8, the answer is 100. 35 degrees. So, the value of B here is 135 degrees. Next, for the next topic, we have measures of interior angles of an irregular polygon. Paano naman to pag irregular? Example, find the value or find the measure of angle X. First step, we need to solve for the interior angles of the uh, polygon. Sum of the interior angles of the polygon. So, gagamitin natin yung formula ng sum of the interior angles, which is S is equal to N minus 2 times 180. Dito sa figure natin, meron tayong 4 sides. I-substitute natin yan sa N. Yan. S is equal to 4 minus 2 times 180. Saan natin kinuha yung 4? Yan yung number of sides. Then, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 times 180. Ang sagot, 360 degrees. Ang interior angles ng polygon na ito, dito sa example na to ay 360 degrees. Ngayon, paano natin kukunin si X? Hindi naman yan yung tinatanong. Hindi naman sum ang tinatanong, kundi yung value ni x or yung measure ni angle x. Ayan. Na, since nakuha na natin yung interior angles ng uh, or sum ng interior angles ng polygon natin, ang gagawin na lang natin is i-equate natin siya. Since 
meron nang naibigay na values dito, i-add lang natin lahat ito, i-equate natin siya sa 360. Ito yung kabuuan. Ito yung total ng interior angles. I-equate natin siya. So, 360 degrees is equal to 80, 80 degrees plus 100 degrees plus 120 degrees plus x. Nakuha ba? And then, mag-simplify tayo. 360 degrees is equal to 300 degrees plus x. Saan natin nakuha si 300 degrees? Ito, pinag a lang natin si 80, 100, and 120. Mag-transpose. So, transpose mo si 300 sa right side ng equation. Magma-minus yan. 360 degrees minus 300 degrees is equal to x. Simplify. Ang value ni x or yung measure ni x is equal to 60 degrees. Nakuha? Very good. Next, example number 6. Find the measure of angle Z. Gayahin lang natin yung solution kanina sa example number 5. Ganun din lang. First, solve for the sum of the interior angles. Substitute natin. Ilan yung sides ng polygon na ito? Anim. So, 6 minus 2 is equal 6 minus 2 times 180. 80, mag-simplify. 6 minus, 4, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Times 180, it is equal to 720 degrees. Ayan na yung sum of the interior angles. Next step, solving for the measure of angle Z na. I-equate natin ulit si 720 dito. Okay. Lahat ng given values ng angle, interior angles dito sa example, uh, dito sa polygon natin. So, 80 degrees, 150 degrees, 70 degrees, 160 degrees, 140 degrees, and of course, the missing angle or interior angle which is Z. Next step, add... 80 plus 150 plus 70 plus 160 plus 140 is equal to 600 degrees plus Z. Now, mag-transpose ulit. 720 degrees minus 600 degrees is equal to 120 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle Z is equal to 120 degrees. For the last topic, sum of exterior angles of a polygon. Exterior angles of any polygon has a total of 360 degrees. Kahit anong polygon yan, ang total ng exterior angles niya ay equal to 360 degrees. Ayan. And then, pag pinag-add mo yung interior angle at saka exterior angle, that is equal to 180 degrees. For example, solve for the unknown exterior angle. Ito. Ayan. Paano natin yan gagawin or kukunin yung value? I-add lang natin lahat yung binigay sa atin na exterior angle exterior angle values dito sa polygon na ito and then equate natin siya sa 360 degrees. Kasi nga alam natin na ang total ng exterior angles ng isang polygon ay 360. So, kunin mo yung 70 degrees, yung 80 degrees, 100 degrees, and yung x degrees. So, pinag add mo na yan lahat. 250 degrees plus x is equal to 360 degrees. Mag-transpose ka. 360 degrees minus 250 degrees is equal to 110 degrees. Therefore, ang value ni x dito ay equal to 110 degrees. Nakuha? Okay. For the last example, 
solve for the measure of angle X and the measure of angle Y. Andaan class, yung sum ng interior angles ng triangle ay 180 degrees. Tama? Yan, so gagamitin natin yan sa pagsusolve natin kay X and Y. So, solving for the measure of angle X, equate lang natin yung 63 degrees and 56 degrees tsaka si X kay 180 degrees. So, iyad mo lahat. Simplify ka. 63 plus 56 is equal to 119 plus X is equal to 180 degrees. Ayan, nag-transpose. X is equal to 180 degrees minus 119 degrees. It is equal to 61 degrees. Therefore, X here is equal to 61 degrees. Now, for the value of angle Y, or for the measure of angle Y, yan, we know that 56 degrees and angle Y is a linear pair, and a linear pair sums up to 180 degrees. Tama? Yes. Kaya ang gagawin, i-add mo lang si y and 56 degrees, equate mo siya kay 180. Simplify, mag-transpose ka. 180 minus 56 degrees is equal to 124 degrees. So, ang measure ni angle y ay equal to 124 degrees. Degrees. Meron ba kayong natutunan sa lesson natin ngayon? I hope so. Para naman hindi masayang ang inyong pakikinig sa lesson natin ngayon. Okay? So that's all for our lesson. Thank you for listening and uh, watching this video. I hope hindi nyo nakalimutan na mag-subscribe and i-click ang notification bell. So yun lamang. Maraming salamat. Take care, stay safe, and God bless everyone. Bye-bye!